what's next is Juan Fernandez in. I can't read it. Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. Sorry? Tartarus? Tartarus. Okay. Tartarus. Tartarus. Is it Tartarus, I think? But this is a film by Dave Waskovic. Oh my god, he really is on a space scrap. <laughs> yes? Is he? It was all just on a little on space scrap. Cut it. Uh, torture by evil. Haunted by demons. Tartarus has been opened. Walk the line between heaven and hell. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Eventually, we need a plot, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Remember where you are. Remember where you are. This is Jello. Oh, the old brain in a pie tin. The infernal regions of ancient Greek mythology. Oh, okay. So it's like Greek hell, like Hades or. Below. Elder, elder, under. Okay. Infernal regions. And now the Jello ends up escaping. But he will. Demons and evil surround him. Aliens torture. Mice, Gifford, and Morax. <laughs> but his only allies are those that he does not believe he can trust. Trying to escape his past was his biggest mistake. Wow, this is really dope. Where madness and death live. <laughs> It's a UFO. It can presumably go faster than the speed of light. When you're also in front of the camera wearing an awkward alien mask, you can't really <laughs> monitor your shot. So Tartarus is the story of John, and John is um, John is abducted and tortured by aliens who actually aren't aliens. They are kind of celestial beings who are trying to help John make good moral decisions. It sounds like it sounds like I'm giving away the plot, but we find out all this information within five minutes of starting. No, well, at first we think he is actually abducted by aliens. That's kind sure. of the, the reveal halfway through, is that, oh, it's not really an alien. Sure. It's just a guy in a cheap dollar store alien costume. Tortured repeatedly in, like, Obscene and, and vulgar ways. <laughs> That's draining his balls of blood. <laughs> what the twist is going to be, mm -hmm. which Jack thinks is an A-plus idea. And it's it's the laziest... <laughs> it's like what a stupid person would do when he's trying to be pretentious. <laughs> he was dead and in hell the whole time. Ooh! No! No! no. no. <laughs> and, like, the alien's just punching him. <laughs> what is this? But that, that wasn't the only twist. I, I'm with Jack a little bit on this. Okay. That wasn't the only twist. It's like, oh, he was dead the whole time. You know, blah, blah, blah. It was, it was, it was a roller coaster ride. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should establish the framework of it. The frame, okay. Is, the is he's, he's on the alien ship. He starts to get tortured, and we get a little flashback. Uh, to, it's, it's very told very in a fractured way, but a flashback to him doing something horrible. Who doesn't want a slimy vacuum up their butt? <laughs> <laughs> so his, 
his his terms were, but it really goes in. <laughs> oh, crack! Oh, he's smoking crack? He's smoking crack! Oh my god, he's he does it all! Oh, because of butt crack. It all makes oh, sense. Yeah. And as it goes along, then we go back to the alien him being tortured, and then another scene of him on Earth doing something horrible. He's basically the worst person ever, and he's done all the horrible things. That is the dead. And he's in a place called Tartarus, which is sort of not uh, sort of limbo, not quite heaven or hell. It's the afterlife, and Dave Waskovich himself is in an alien mask as as a eternal. Is Wonko the eternal preparer? Who are you? I am the preparer. Prepare for what? For what comes next? I am the preparer for the transition from life. Death. What are you talking about? This is a house of preparation. preparation this is a house of preparation. And he's preparing John to either go to heaven or hell based on his decisions. He's preparing him to be judged, but they're giving him he's giving he, what he's doing is he's giving John the best possible chance of making it to heaven. Yes. So here you, you've been a fucking You're given up your whole every life. opportunity. Here are, here are your examples. We're going to torture the shit out of you, and maybe you'll fucking learn your lesson before we make our final judgment on you. What is thick as a brick. <laughs> uh, what, what a bizarre scam. Oh, some old, poor old lady said that my husband died. Well, you know, he's not going to heaven with Jesus. If you want him to go to heaven, you gotta pay me fifty dollars to watch this UFO video. Aliens will scoop him up unless you watch this video, which tells you all the exact prayers to say, so that your husband, on his way to meet Jesus, won't get snatched up by aliens. <laughs> and it's like, I think one out of maybe a billion people might fall for that. It's not the best scam in so, the world. So here's my question: Is this is his TARDIS that he's in? Is that his own personal Tartus yes. that, that the Eternal picked based on that? Yeah. Or was he just coincidentally right about what happens after you die? It is not his own personal Tartus because we see the hundreds of bodies. Mm. See, Strap down right my bed. Be cold. Eyes red. No, I am out of right my head. Am I alive? Yeah, and I, I think did. the other people that they show laying on the beds probably didn't also see okay. the alien. Okay. They saw the, the, the Dave Blaskovich character. Can't remember what form. they uh, said. Appearing as something. God oh, so damn. He appeared as an alien Shit because of his bit. connection to his alien scam. That makes sense. That's why this he got. a very smart film. That's why the tree stone. A plus effort. <laughs> A plus effort. <laughs> That's